slash summit um, being an indication that uh, the, the tool is actually gaining in popularity. Um, I'm also happy to see that we have people from uh, outside Europe visiting us here for, for the summit, which is uh, had not been a given in, in past editions. So welcome. Uh, together with my uh, co-chair, Michael Kirsche. Um, to my, my name is uh, Sigel Minkenberg. I'm the, the local uh, arrangements chair for, for this year's edition. I will give you a 10 minute uh, introduction to the workshop and the program, the things we have in store for you these, uh, these two days. Uh, we'll try to keep it short so we can get to the, the really interesting uh, bits. So maybe just a little bit of background about the uh, about the summit. So it started as a as a workshop. We had six editions in conjunction with the Simi Tools Conference, um, but that at some point didn't work out so well anymore, or didn't meet our needs so well anymore. So since last year, um, the workshop has evolved into a, into a summit uh, as a standalone event, and uh, the idea is to basically keep it free for participants. To you know, encourage people to, to, to actually come, so that the costs are uh, are low. Um, and, and this year, you know, we have it here in Zurich for the uh, for the second time. It's also the first time we actually uh, spread it across more than one day. We had so many interesting contributions from all of you uh, that ultimately we decided, you know, rather than uh, reject interesting uh, work, we'll actually you know take it in and extend the summit. Uh, to, uh, to a two-day event. So in terms of the objective, so it's really then it's, it's not you know, your typical scientific conference. So also in terms of accepting uh, papers, uh, say scientific uh, impact or, or not, it was not so much a criterion as you know it is of interest to the to the community. Uh, so really, what we want to do is facilitate interaction, sharing of experience, uh, maybe also you know, concrete models and results among the uh, community of Omnet users. But luckily, we also have uh, three of the main developers of Omnet in the room. Um, so it's also an exchange between the users and the, the team that actually is uh, bringing all this good stuff uh, to you. Um, so we don't want to be you know, a one-way, you know, unidirectional sort of event with people just uh, just talking. But the idea is to really you know, ask questions and also in, in the breaks and, and during lunch and have useful discussions. Um, Having said that, we have a pretty densely packed uh, program, uh, in, including all these, uh, these these interesting pieces. Um, so we are going to make an effort to, to stick um, to the time, and that includes myself, so I'll be quick here. Um, the kind people who helped organize uh, this year's edition, um, Andras over there as, as founding father of, of OMNET and the workshop. Uh, then we have Anna and myself as the, uh, the summit organizers. Um, Kaman over there operating the camera and Michael as technical program chairs. Uh, Joseph Kim as a publicity organizer, unfortunately, because of some health issues, he could not join us uh, this year. And then uh, Laura was kind enough to organize uh, a panel which would take place in the, uh, in the afternoon. So many thanks to all of these folks. Also thanks to um, Support from from the local team and not in the room here, but um, you know the secretaries and the technical folks who helped uh, arrange uh, everything, as well as support from uh, our management to actually use the facilities and pay for the, the food and the coffee. <laughs> um, we had a, a small technical program committee just to, to check the uh, submissions for uh, for sanity, uh, basically. So thanks to uh, to these folks for um, investing their time. Uh, then in terms of the logistics, so you all managed to find the reception and, and get your registration. So in the registration, you will find your, your badge, uh, a copy of the program, and then I have been told non-functional uh, Wi-Fi logins. Uh, so I've been told that this uh, has been a problem uh, last week as well, and for, apparently they didn't think it was a good idea to fix that. So we have people <laughs> running around now to, uh, <laughs> to figure, figure out whether that can be <coughs> this is, of course, thoroughly embarrassing, so I would like to profusely apologize for, uh, for that. Now, you may actually have to pay attention to what's uh, being <laughs> said here. <laughs> Sorry about that. <coughs> um, so you, you, you came in here, now we're here. Uh, the food is going to be here. The breaks are out there, the tables that were, were arranged. Um, and then in the evening, we'll, we'll have a dinner, have a separate slide on, uh, on, on that. Uh, yes, so Wi-Fi, maybe we shall not mention that further. 
uh, it's fixed. Uh, then the community dinner will take place at the uh, Mosaic restaurant, which is really uh, just five minute walk from here. Anybody who's sitting in the Needlebot will have uh, seen it. Um, because of the number of people that are are uh, attending. There's a limited choice of, of menu. If you want to know what it is, I can. Uh, actually I should have put it on here. But anyway, uh, I think it's it's a nice uh, selection. But you know that's what's on the menu. If you have somehow very special dietary needs, then you know we can we can talk to them, uh, of course. Uh, this one is uh, self-paid though, so you will pay um, Swiss prices unfortunately uh, at the full rate. But the, the summit is free, so I hope this uh, this won't be uh, a showstopper. All right then. I'm going to hand over to, uh, to Michael here to talk about the program. Thanks a lot. Uh, good morning and a big welcome from me too. Um, as you can see, we're quite a big audience and we had a quite large number of submissions this year. Um, to, when we take a look, it's I think one of the largest submissions for uh, at least the Omnit workshops and uh, the summits that I attended. And uh, it's also quite diverse in the kind of submissions and the distribution of submissions over countries. Um, we can still see that a large number of people from Germany are actually uh, submitting um, to the summit, but we also see second place in the United States this year, which uh, was quite surprising for us, and uh, it's really good that uh, most people attended uh, from the countries that actually submitted. And uh, we can see that Austria is also quite good this year. So Switzerland has to uh, do something next year. <laughs> and then you can also see for the first time we're actually uh, diverse a bit in the type of submissions. We have normal research submissions from industry and university alike this year. Um, we got two tutorials, one today and one tomorrow, and also a panel, thanks to Laura, uh, with some invited panelists. Um, the technical program um, that uh, Cyril mentioned, uh, we reinstitiated this uh, this year to not only check for novelty, uh, but also to uh, give submitters some kind of feedback on, uh, on their work, on their approaches maybe, on points to improve. As always, as last year too, um, this, uh, the proceedings are indexed and arxiv, um, but you remain the copyright. So if you want to extend your work, submit it someplace else, make a journal paper out of it, you feel you can do whatever you want with the submission. But we wanted to give you some feedback from proven experts in the community. That's why we reinstated the TPC. Um, so we checked for um, yeah, technical content partly, community value, that was a big thing. And I think most uh, authors got uh, valuable feedback. We, had, uh, we sorted out some um, submissions that were a bit complicated, um, there were some conflicts, some large improvements that were included <coughs> in the um, review process. And we also advised on the presentation type. That's why we have some um, submissions that are invited as demonstrations, some as shorter, some as longer presentations, some with posters, and of course the tutorials. Um, yeah, as you can see, we selected a couple of tutorials, um, seven long presentations seven short ones and um, actually three demonstrations. But of course, we invited everyone to bring posters or demonstrations if they want. So uh, later in the evening, we're going to have the poster and demo session in this room. Yes. And uh, everybody that wants to can put up his poster. If you want one, you can put up a laptop, say, do some demonstration. So it's going to be a quite open and free session where yeah, just go around, talk with the people, and see what everybody has to offer. Um, proceedings are currently available at the Summit website. Um, we just collected everything in a single file so you can easily download it and then take a look at it if the Wi-Fi would work. And uh, <laughs> the individual contributions are also linked to the program. Um, we're going to index everything in Arxiv. Um, it's already started, uh, but they take a couple of days to put everything online. Um, what else? Uh, for the program, we have, we have two keynotes. I'm very proud to present that two keynote speakers, uh, thanks to our contacts uh, at IBM. Um, we were able to invite those. And uh, one's going to be right next after this small introduction, and the other one tomorrow. We have uh, the energy consumption modeling panel, thanks to Laura again. And we have some invited presentations and tutorials by three of the Omnet core developers. So big thanks to Andras, Rudolf, and Levente for that. Um, last but not least, um, as you can see, we have a quite full program. That's one of the reasons why we uh, extended it for the first time to two days, or one and a half day, actually. And uh, so I advise you to stick to your time slot. Um, just remember that uh, we're like an open interactive event, so 
um, maybe a bit less presentations and more time for questions is always a good choice. Um, beef up some time. Um, the slots that are uh, stated in the program um, are like a good suggestion how long it should take, including questions. We might have still some slight program updates on the last minute, so there might be some uh, bit shorter time, probably more longer times when people cannot join. So um, just go to your session chair. Um, they're indicated in the program on the website that you can also ask around. People know, at least we know, session chair. Um, contact them just shortly before your session. They will tell you if you have more time, less time. They will collect your presentations, put them on the laptop, or you can use your own laptop if you want to just try it out before. And um, yeah, that's it. Um, again, here's the program. So right after our short introduction, we're going to start with Christopher Crawford's uh, keynote, and there's going to be a big break afterwards, bigger break, and then the first session. So um, I'm the session chair of the first session, so presenters from this session can just contact me in the break, and we'll um, set up all the equipment and everything. And afterwards, the first big lunch. And uh, yeah, in the afternoon, you can see there's another session. Um, there's the panel from Laura. And uh, afterwards, we have the longer coffee break and poster demonstration session and so on. Um, we're going to uh, finalize the invited talks uh, today with the future of Onnit session, which will be like a part of um, research topic, part uh, invited talk, and a uh, small panel discussion. And uh, after the break, we're going to have the uh, tutorial on optimizing the loop from Antonio Verdes. Um, for the dinner, we can also uh, we could either join us here, and then we go also together uh, over to the New Day restaurant, or you can just go there if you want to go, quickly go to your hotel before. So it's um, like Sirius said, it's right around the corner down the street, so about six, seven minutes walking from here. OK, for tomorrow's program, um, you see that we're going to start with a normal session and have the keynote a bit afterwards. That's because Peter Alterbrook needs to take the train here. And it takes a couple of time, even in Switzerland. And uh, after lunch, we're going to have another bigger session with uh, lots of interactive presentations, I think. And uh, after a second break, we conclude with um, the second tutorial that we have on the multimedia uh, mobile system, or multimedia wireless sensor network uh, framework. and uh, yeah a quick closure from our point of view, and that's it. So first time, one and a half days. So we're very proud to uh, be hosted by IBM this year. So a big thank you from me again to, to IBM for hosting us and uh, for providing facilities, providing good lunch. And uh, yeah, thank you all, last but not least, for contributing, contributing your time and your work, attending the summit. And uh, yeah, we all hope that this is good, second edition, fruitful edition and then you all take something out of it. Thanks a lot. And